everyone. Welcome to Team of Old Life. So today, um, I'm saying that I was done with St. Patrick Day, which I am. But uh, I was searching the other night and I saw Patrick. So I was thinking it's very good to do Patrick for St. Patrick Day. And uh, sexy Patrick. Like the actual yeah. Patrick of Satanist? I have this right here. I done that once before. But the other days, um, there's a lady that DM me and say, why well, do you have a life for it? Why done it last year? It was before I start saving my life. Um, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do that on the thumbs. So that's going to be the short one minute video. But I want to do Why Patrick. I, I want to do this. Okay. I think either this or this. I'm not sure which one. I think in the other one. The one with the boot. <coughs> okay, so I am going to put on my website. It is www.tinovo.shop and I am going to add in Kyla's for customer service. It's 417-772-4020. I'm going to pin it. Hello everyone. I lost some fun nails. Uh, you like this one? It's a, like it, the first. That's what I've seen so far. Oh. oh. Someone likes this one, yeah. Back and forth, back and forth. I mean, this one is a little... Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Is it too sexy? Too sexy? I, I think it's too sexy. You mean provocative. I think it's too sexy. That one? You like that one? It's, I don't. It's, it's, it's a big butt. Gosh. It's a big butt. Um, so I'm not sure. I mean, this is cute. Like, ooh, you know. I think this one, for sure. Do both? No. Not both in one set. Maybe two set, but not in one set. Um, the first butt at boot, no, it wouldn't work like that. <coughs> it wouldn't work because the other leg is stuffy. See this? Stuffy. It's stuffy like this. There's no way a boot gonna work on that. It have a point. It need to be leap like that. If I add boot, I have to do an actual human legs. Yeah, go with my gut. I think this one. My gut telling me this one. Hi, Chicky. Hi, everyone. Hi, Nocturne now. Uh, it's gone. Okay. So, let me go ahead and add in myself before we start it. Do you like my ice cream I put this morning? Everyone loved my ice cream I put this morning. This went pretty good. Let me see. Oh, Tino. All right, here we go to the testing. All right, everyone. All right, I'm gonna find Patrick now. Let's see. Patrick? Yes. Sexy Patrick. Oh. Patrick for St. Patrick Day. No, Patrick for St. Patrick Day. Oh, and by the way, I also found this, but it's too late now. It is too late now. We're going to do it next year. Oh, how cute. Yeah, it's too late. I'm done with St. Patrick for like another year. We just have to revisit it next year. Look at this, you guys. Look at that. Next year. Next year we'll do it. But now we're going to do a Patrick set. All right. All right. So I have nails with me. We set up a station.
Are you going to be using that band? Using what? Uh, yeah, I need something to see. Okay, now I'm going to start with uh, Art Joe's blue. Okay, blue. Get these way bright. I'm going to try to mix it with the green just to make it brighter. Okay. Oh, thank you, Branson. I need a, a spatula. Okay. I'm not gonna put enough for uh, four nails. Maybe a little more. Just a little though. Leave the rest here. I want to see how it's go before I add in more green. Cause I don't want it to be green. I just want it to be brighter. This seems like a good blaze stop. And I want to add a little white in just to brighten it up a little bit. Hi, Matt. Thank you. Okay, add a little white in it. See it? Uh huh. I always refer to Matt as Matt Gosselin. Got but, but if you look at his name, it might be Ghost Slay. Go, ghost, ghost Tay. Go Tay. Ghost Slay. Oh, Ghost Slay. Right. Is that his last name? I don't know. So we don't know. It's either Gosley or Ghost Slay. But I feel like before we you know, go online, we got to clarify that. Right. Him. We don't this even... is our old friend that we fuck his name up. That's not good. Right. And we don't even know his wife's name. Right. Actually, I, actually, now to think about it, I don't know anything about him. What the heck? I know, right? I thought he was from Mexico. Fuck. On a vacation forever, <laughs> and then we didn't know actually why. Okay, now I am going to take cast on and flat brush and paint all of it. Her, uh, his wife name is Tiffany. Oh wow, she sounds a little out of his class. <laughs> right, she sounds like she sounds classy. You know, I'm not saying he's not classy. Right. She sounds like Audrey Hepburn. A, you know, a little more he may be. Right. Well, you better you better be real good at the nails. Take right. care of it. Tiffany. Ooh. Oof. Man, that's expensive. And I'm gonna apply on the nails. Hear this? Apply on all four nails. What uh, was that acetone? Yes, it acetone. Good morning, Jen. Hi, Jen. <coughs> All four nails. Hi, Karen. Good morning, Karen. Kia. Ah, see, his last name was Gote. Gote, that's right. why I thought. I see, I am right. I thought it's Gote. See? Well, it was awful convenient for, you know, that they all line out. That was me his destiny. Oh. As a serial killer, I mean, Gote. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Kids. That's convenient, right? And laying at Dexter. Mm -hmm. All right, Dex, you know, Dexter is in Florida. You better watch out for Dexter. We love Dexter too. We're on his side. We're on his side. Okay. So it's all done. Good I am morning, Jenny. 
I am gonna take hi Jenny. I'm gonna take out this one. Okay. I am gonna start drawing him right now. So I need a salmon colors. Let's go ahead and take fairy gel out. Hi my friend. Welcome. Fairy gel is right on salmon color, right on with Patrick. I'll show you. Patrick, salmon color. Say hello, say hello. Okay. Take it out. I'm gonna start painting him. Um, for you guys, let's go ahead and outline it. Usually it wouldn't even outline it. Let's let's go ahead and outline this. So you guys know how to draw Patrick. Is he pretty easy though? Well, it's a starfish. Yeah, it's a starfish. So, um, his belly and right now you have to know that he's he have legs, right? He have legs, so you gotta be careful. Um, I so say his legs is right here. Go here. Go here. Okay. Okay. So his body better be small, but he's gonna have legs later. So. He's gonna have legs later. Yeah. This is his stomach. Okay. Jenny's birthday's coming up. Jenny, Jenny boy? Yeah. Ooh. She has to bring coming. I reckon you need to know her. Oh, to New York? Oh. I don't see myself going. Um, to New York. Well, of course we're not going. I'm going to go to that puncture play, too. She said she's going to take me to the after puncture play if I go to New York. Happy birthday, Jenny. Do you even know what it is? I don't even know how old she is. She came before, before, I remember that part. Oh, you don't, you don't review it online. Shh. Big legs. I mean, 35. 35. Jenny is 35. <laughs> Forever young. Forever young. Oh, she said big party. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah? Crap, crap, crap legs. Crap legs. They have crap legs like Cardi B party, crap legs. <laughs> <laughs> I used so much crap legs that, that night. I even forgot to take picture. I jammed down to all the crap legs. I like, I'm never going to order this crap leg again. I mean, I, I'm never going to order the crap. It's like $1,000 crap legs. I'm like, hmm, I better give it a go. By standing in line and get pictures taken. I was so busy Girl, eating crap legs. Standing in line with the crab. I'm like, mm-mm. Uh, -uh. I'm like, no. I don't need to take pictures of Cardi B. I can Photoshop one thing. I don't need to take pictures. I need to eat the crab legs. That's why I need. Okay, so his leg right here now. I'm comfortable now. Now let's draw his body. See, I have to draw the legs first because let's say I draw his belly all the way out here. This leg not going to be able to, to go out, if you know what I mean. So I have to draw the leg first to make sure that the portion is right. It's going to end right here. It's perfect. Now I'm drawing his belly. So his belly, this is a limit. It's end right here, and it's going up like a star. There you go. Okay. Now. Is this Patrick the star? Yes, Patrick for St. Patrick Day. Uh, sexy Patrick, by the way. This sexy Patrick. Nah, I wouldn't roast shit, Matt. You'd be surprised how proud we are. Yes. Okay, now, I am going to draw the hand. So we're going out. One, two. Is he going to have green fishnets or thigh eyes? What is it, thigh eyes? He's going to look exactly like this. This is what he's going to look like, okay? 
that one didn't look like. Um, the green, I'm gonna switch purple and then green leaf. Probably, probably gonna switch. I don't know if it's con or sin to switch. Uh, Patrick, let's ask all the Patrick lover. I was sponge. I, I don't know if it's a, a sin to, to uh, switch SpongeBob like that. Since there's so many SpongeBob lover out there, maybe I can get an advice on should I switch the paint? I don't think that's a big deal to switch the color of the paint. The paint. Okay, now I am gonna go ahead and put it in. Let me see, let me check. Actually, a little bigger right here. Okay, put it in. Change the color. I, I will change the color. Because the leaf needs to be green, so it fit. It fit the team. <coughs> St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to Toronto, April. Oh, Jenny, going to Canada. <coughs> that is nice. Oh, Karen. Karen, say IG acting up. It's always acting up. IG always acting up. Um, then I'm late. Thought you were going with math, so thought there would be some um, before now. Oh, no, no, no. I'm doing tonight. I'm doing that. Not today. Because I have to have a daily life on my page every day. Okay. Now I'm taking this out and I am going to paint green on the pen first. The reason is I prefer to do green and then purple instead of purple and then green. It's just my preference. Art gel, by the way. You can, what do you use? For I mean, you can use a, you can use very gel. What's that? What do you use for your nail dryer like LED? Oh, uh, nail dryer, are you Pro Shaker? It's from ProShaker.com. It's the best dryer in the world. It is the best. Good morning, Glamour Goddess. <laughs> we want to buy some and sell it on our website. But uh, <laughs> last week he texted me and he was kind of impatient, so I cussed him out. I know. So impatient. Are you guys going to be on OMIG or TT TikTok now? Um, I say um, Instagram. I'm kind of curious about TikToks, and I never do TikTok before. I was thinking of going with Matt on TikTok because Matt knows TikTok, and I don't. So I was thinking that something I could learn is TikTok Live so I can learn how to use it because I have no ideas. I have no idea how to save it. I have no idea how to, I don't know how to navigate on TikTok Live. Okay, here it is. And then uh, shadow, I wouldn't use a gel pen yet. Flower to clovers. It kind of looks like clover. And does not it? can be, yes. Um, yeah, I wouldn't use gel pen yet. Just use like a gel polish for now. I prefer you gel polish first and then gel pen in for detail or shading or whatever it is that... Um, I don't want it to be runny. Matt said he would be down with TikTok to say all your people are on IG. Well, it, his life. So it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm a guest. I'm a guest, so it doesn't really matter. If my people, mm, it's not for the purpose of, um, of th like this. It's not for like education like this. Uh, it's like a nail party, so it shouldn't matter. I'm going to curve it. Okay. 
I shouldn't dot that right there. I should uh, erase it, but whatever. I can I can fix it. Okay. One out, one in. Oh, it's right there too. I was um, I was banking on that. It's gonna cover. It's right there. I cannot go any high. Uh, can go any lower though. It's okay. I'm gonna put some blue gel on it later. Okay, curve in. That's for the cap. And then going out, curving out like this, and go and slant it like that. Okay, slant it again. Let's do this one too. Just a little lower. Maybe we can get rid of that. Cure this. Now comes shading for Patrick. For Patrick needs shading. This makes white in. Um, most importantly, no just, just a white polish, you guys. Today, as I'm done, um, Unya Mini say, what's the inspiration for today? I say I'm done with St. Patrick now, but I, um, I bumped into Patrick yesterday. Patrick. So I figured, Patrick, for St. Patrick. I'm making it lighter, but you know what? I will use a little milk just to make it like a sheer is, but I'm going to do highlight. I don't want it to be too opaque. But I have uh, plenty of milk in for it. There you go. Mix it up. Yes. Nice and milky. So it have a sheer element in there too, you know what I mean? It's not too sheer, but it does have a sheer element in there. So now I'm going to get a pointy brush. See a pointy brush? gonna get a kid though but i'm here watching i don't do well as passenger on the car right so this is going to help my anxiety <laughs> <laughs> angelic vampire they rode with you once they enjoy everyone else What I meant the other night when I say it's not constant, meaning problem usually not constant, it's only there when it's there. The rest of the time we carry it with us in our mind. Like like if I'm in car wreck, it probably will be two hours when I'm facing that problem. But when I go home, it's no longer there. I'm in the present moment where nothing's going on right now. But you see it's still in our mind. So if it's in our mind, then it can affect us emotionally even when it's not here. So that's when I say take a few moments to breathe, meaning take a few moments to get empty all in your head. Temporarily, you can revisit the problem later. But tem temporarily removing it out of your head so you can take a breath, you know, because when it's still in our head, we don't breathe. We don't breathe right. We breathe shallow. It affects our chemical in our mind uh, and you don't generate enough dopamine. Uh, so the trigger, uh, like a reward system in your body is not trigger. You know, it's uh, it's the opposite. Can you use gel paint instead of pigment paints? Um, you can. It'd be a little thicker, but you can. Um, what I'm using, the main thing I'm using is milk. Or uh, if you don't have milk, then you can use normal top coat. But the reason why is you see how easy for me to blend. If I not using those, then it'd be more difficult for me to blend. But these 
have a little sheer element in there, so it's blend so good. It is blending so good. Okay, this. So add whatever white you want, but you have to have a little top coat in there to make it sheerish. Now purples. Now I'm gonna use gel pen because I'm gonna draw little flowers, so I need full control. I need it to run out and destroy the shape of my flowers. Seven millimeter is what I'm aiming for. Seven millimeters. Hola, beauty nails. Okay, just a little bit. Take it out. No. Purples. Oh, one back says, I love you. When I grow up, I want to be like you. Well, that's the secret. You don't really grow up. Me. Okay, one flower right. That's look funny. Um, another one. Thing. Okay, another one right here. Oh, is today daylight savings? Yes, it is. See, spring forward, so we lost that. At this point, I don't care because iPhone does everything for us. I know. I would have never known. Uh, yeah, I wake up and I, uh, I didn't know what's going on, but then I check the uh, the alarm clock, like the actual alarm clock, not the phone. And then I'm like, oh, well, look at there. It's an hour early. That's how I know because I don't even know. iPhone have definitely changed a lot of things. Definitely. Springfield, Missouri. Going across. And a little flower here, too. Just like that. And then feel the art in. If I use gel polish, um, number one, it wouldn't be opaque like this. Um, but the most important thing is all this line, like all this crevices right here, it will kind of make it not sharp. That's why you use gel pen, just to keep it under control. There you go. All right. Let me see first. Ooh. Okay, get this. Well, let me see. Kind of like the other paint. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this. Maybe I am. Uh, I need to take some gel paint. Need to mix it with some pink fairy gel. Maybe just a little brighter. Yeah, I did it backward. I did it backwards so you can see the it can be like a four leaf clover. However, the purple I think I will um we need to make it brighter. Need to make it brighter purples. Yeah, let's see this. Yeah. Yes, that's what I like. Bright. Yes. See, I know something was wrong. I was like, mm, it looks dark. See, this is sassy. Sassy. This is sassy. I will definitely wear this underwear. This is sassy. Oh, is it an underwear? <laughs> like, like a short. 
Okay, clear this. Okay, now time for the eye. So let's take a little black art shells and white art gel, uh, white, uh, white pigment base or white polish. Painted the eye first. This should be easy. Let's do a little dot. Another one right here. Okay, good. And before we clear, let's go ahead and paint the mouth in the black art gel. Good morning, my girl. Bonjour. Bonjour. La Bonjour. Kia this. I am so slacking on my French lesson. It has been three days. The first day I learned it, I'm like, yes, I am on the roll. And then all oh, it takes is one day of slacking, and here you go, three, four days. That's why I say I need a class. I need to pay for a class. So I, but we don't drive right now. Later we're gonna drive, but we don't drive right now. So I couldn't go to a class. Well, I have to Uber to class, but um, I need a class so I can be. Rem I, I have to go. If I pay, I have to go. Well, I felt like I felt like Trump was studying with you. Yeah, bonjour. Bonjour. I'm learning the bonjour. The R, the R is it sound like Okay now the pink. I need a little blue. Fairy gel and that because it's very wrinkle purple. It's Girl, girl said she'll teach you. Really? Yeah. I'm sure. That's, yeah, that's hello. And uh, Messi du Noir, uh, the one I learned is Messi du Noir is trois or two, or two, three. Or three is today, or two, three. And now I need a seven millimeters. I'm gonna take these colors with the eyelash color. It need a little white. I learned my lesson about it being too dark. Look bright right here because the background is uh, white, up white. The palette, the color of the palette. But when it's on the nails, I want it to be a little brighter. Okay, just like this. Go ahead and paint it. And it's gonna be small and tiny. Good morning, Hell's Nails. Hello, Hell's Nails. Okay. Who is this time? Okay, good. Kill this. Uh, be, um, the liner will be for the second layer. We're not doing the liner on this layer. It's so small. I need to even it our top coat first. Let's go ahead and outline Patrick with the fun colors. Um, we are thinking about green or pink. I wonder what if I outline him with green. I'm breaking all kind of rule today on uh, Patrick. But the outline of him is red in the picture, but let's see how what it looked like with green. 
Green art gel, by the way. I like it. Let's do green. Like a green glow around him. Green. There, I like it. Yeah, I like the green. I do that so I don't have to change my angle. See that? I have to switch my angle. Mm -hmm. Look at that green glow on Patrick. All right, now, do you have this? Actually, maybe a little white on Patrick. I'm gonna mix a little white into that pink that I, I mixed uh, earlier, maybe. A little more gradient for him. That's my ombre brush. I'm on. Oh, my green. I, I didn't get it. Ooh, Tina. I have better be careful on this brush. I didn't get my green. Okay, now, I wonder if it's too white. Let me see. And the white right here too. Just a little highlight for him. He's not heavily highlighting the picture. I should add highlight. I should add extra highlight for him because he is a nail and he is really small on these nails. So I want him to be sexy, stand out. I want him to stand out. There you go. One more. There. Kia. All right, Matt Popco, everything after this. Oh, before Matt Popco, I am going to darken my background. Hi, Heathers. What liner brush do you use? I just pick up the pointy brush, which is this one. Take it. The rest are 10 and five, uh, ten and 7. It's what I use uh, recently. It's 10 millimeter and 7 millimeters. That's probably the most popular one that I use. It's 10 and 7. All right, let's see. Good morning, Heather. You see the background? You see the background is like dark green to light green. So I want to do the, the background like that. I actually don't know if if I do a dark green, dark blue here. Did I actually say green? Blue here, dark blue here, then even in the picture, it's pretty stand out. 
I cannot forget that that is a nail. It's not a picture. So I might do glue on top instead of glue on the bottom. Good. Cause see, if I do dark blue in here, it's let's try it. Let's try it. Did you mention to uh, Heather? Okay. Number eight. Did you mention to Heather how I've been trying to put the trampoline together for a week now and I can't figure oh, it out? Oh, yes. <laughs> can, can, can we pay the kid to have them put it together, please? Cause, okay, I get that acceptable. And I'm going to add some white highlight here and here on the boot and that should. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Uh, so there is stained glass gel. Blending should not be a problem at all on stained glass gel. See that? Done. Clear. And just for the fun of it, a little blend, a little more blend of uh, green stained glass gel. Oh, yellow stained glass gel. Number one. It's highlight like yellow. So it's going to make green. Cause it's brighter than green. Number one, stained glass gel on here. Good. It's St. Patrick Day, right? Yes. When is St. Patrick's Day? 17. It's coming right around the corners. That's why i eager to end my St. Patrick design very quick because I have a uh, um, leftover design in Halloween. I have leftover design in Christmas. Ooh, that's cute. Clear. Okay, I have to say, okay, we can come by later. Yeah. That's a bench grab one. It'd be less embarrassing if they not did the proper thing and numbered it. I know, right? We old. We're old. We ain't old. We old score. Okay, now blend this out. Good morning, Habibs. Don't you love to blend with stained glass gel? I'm going to do it again. Stained glass gel, this is number eight. That's one of my first impressions with stained glass gel. Like, wait a minute, this is so easy to blend. Look. Back then when I first started, uh, I think my first uh, ombre brush is my second brush. I have Lana brush first and then I have ombre brush. See how easy it is? No effort at all. No effort. This could be like a fun little uh, money maker for you. Clown coming, you're like, how are you feeling today? You want ombre? Slapping some uh, blue art gels. And then just take some glass uh, gel and take it away. Hey, take it away. Oh, como puedo comprar su producto desde Colombia? Mi producto is in www.tinovo.shop y, um, y envío a todos los uh, luegos. Sí. Um, sí, uh, pu puedes comprar desde uh, Colombia. E, uh, C, C, Puedes, Puedes, and www.tinovo.shop. Mira, Mira, and L bottom. Do you think it would be easier for someone learning to ombre to start with something sheer like a stained glass gel? I recommend it wholeheartedly. Um, I will put it before pigment. Pigment, pigment is easy mm, when you get a hang of it. It's easy to do. Let's put it that way. Uh, to learn, let's just depend on a person's uh, observation on how to how to pick up how to pick it up. And I have demonstrated plenty of uh, pigment, but I know that there's still some people that struggling because in my circle, I haven't seen a person pigment anywhere in my circle all the artists that I know so I know that that technique haven't been yet um, be learned by them so that means that the process of learning it is uh, based on observation how a person learned but when you get when you learn it then it's easy to use pigment I would I would choose it 
uh, before anything else. However, um, learning process is different than doing process. So for learning process, stained glass is easiest <laughs> to learn how to do. But when you get a hang of pigment, then, then you like it a little less because now you can rock it with pigment. Stained stand glass is easy, but not perfect by all means. If you can, like a ultra airbrush effect, you know what I mean, or um, or like an opposite colors. Like if I get purple, uh, no, I mean if I get like orange or something, something that are different than blue. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Like like uh, black or something like that. It would be difficult to blend. It just the blue is so easy now because it's cohesive with this blue. Um, so I still like pigment more, but for you to learn, yes. Definitely, stand glass is easiest. Okay, let's see. Oh wait, wait yellow. Um, my most preferred surface to paint stained glass to ombre stained glass in is white. That's my most preferred surface. Good morning, bless nails. Hello, bless nails. Here, so easy, isn't it? The first sponge book that I demonstrate for you, I plan with fairy gel on a vertical ombre fashion. Are the glass free? The glass gels pack free? No, it's not pack free. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now this, um, let's clean this up. And take our black art gel. Let's clean this up. There you go. Hi, Michelle. Hello, Bless Now. Hi, Michelle. Way Hollywood. Uh, who are Bless Panos and AliExpress called Compro Des De uh, Maloka I Infinita de Produso Paras Las Uñas CC? Oh, gracias. Sí, hablo español, pero hablo poquito español. Um, entiende español ahora. Uh, uh, luego, um, uh, puedo hablo más. Más. Pero ahora hablo poquito español. Okay, now. I am mad at math this for sure. Math is so I can go ahead and do uh, detail on this. So when you pass through all this layer of gel, then you don't want to thin. But up on the cuticle, you don't need much. Try to drag it out so it's thinner. And when you pass through all here, then light on your pressure so you can have plenty of gel. And then when you go down here, then drag it out so it be at more pressure. I mean, so it be thinner. See it? Muy bien, español. Gracias, gracias. Is that still going to be alive tonight? Mm, no, tonight um I am a, a guest star in a, a mat life. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a painting party. I don't know what it's gonna be. I never done that before. I don't know what it's gonna be. Yes. How do you know I'm in Orlando at the park waiting in line for a ride watching your ride? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Michelle, you have to enjoy your time. Well, I get you enjoy your time here too. <laughs> Probably with kids right now. Oh, wandering off somewhere. I see. Like... <laughs> All right, now details. So for detail, it's best if I use my short seven millimeters for details. I got my seven millimeter, take in some art gel, put it out, track it together like this, and go in with the detail. Make sure it's loaded with gel. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna be a little creative on the eyelash.
just you the heck. Only the tip of the brush. This small. Are we gonna be able to watch the party nail art? Mm, if you know where Matt is. Mm, are we going to Instagram? Or we decide to go with Instagram. If you know where Matt is, if he's still here. Like when you first started teaching, like I'll be there. Just tell me where I need to be and what I need to do. Yeah, yeah. When I, we teach, we don't keep track of any anything. We're like, just tell us where to go. Okay, eyebrow need to be seductive. That's the, um, Oh, <laughs> Patrick, that's pretty seductive. I see that. Maybe add a little, little hook on for your eyebrow. Oh, yeah, Patrick. There you go. Yeah. Uh, what time on yeah, this. We don't even know how to find Matt's page. Uh, yeah, I don't know uh, Matt page. Um, I know Instagram. I know Matt page Instagram. Matt got take. Uh, yeah, La Touch Clamor is uh writing it down. Matt go goes lace nails with a dash in between. Okay. There is this one thing that is driving me nuts. I need to get rid of it. Just one little hair. I couldn't see it before, but I see it now. Just this one. See it? See it? This one. But it's interfere with me. We're all holding our breath right now for some reason. Sure. Okay. I just want to cut the hair. I don't want to cut the, the head. Okay, now I am going to outline his paint. I will leave out the green uh, part, part from the side. Yeah, easier when I uh, pick that little hair. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt, what? Uh... Are we going to TikTok tonight? Or oh, Instagram? Or, 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 or Mike, we also need to know what you need to do. Um, they uh, they ask where you at. You just click on it and they add it. Yeah. They ask where you at so they can watch. Yeah. <laughs> 
that Matt says it's up to you, Tino. Oh, it's up to me? Says, I feel bad that your peeps were on IG. Oh. Well, uh, you know, you're trying to grow, and this is something new, so it would be like new old if you did it here, I feel. Yeah. Let's do TikTok. Let's do TikTok. Venture out. Good. I don't have you think at all. Or I'm going to make the decision. We're going to do TikTok. Okay. That's all right. all right, everybody. You get like five, six days, you know, in a row, sometimes twice a day. Let's not be greedy. Let's do TikTok. But that will be a, um, a way... It'll be a way for me to uh, venture out and do something new. Because uh, I do want to do TikTok. And um, it's going to be a different life than this if I do TikTok. If I do TikTok, it'll be uh, fast, product-orientated, then uh, constructed a set. However, I'm not familiar to it. It's untapped territory to me. That's what I like, is you can play music. On TikTok? Oh, fuck, yes. TikTok, it is then. That's what my thing was the first time we got cut off Instagram. I was like, man, screw this. Because we motivate by music. Mm -hmm. We love music. <clears throat> and now we've been stuck in lo-fi mode. Chicky, download TikTok. Take a few yeah, minutes. That's the thing is, have TikTok. I'm, in, I'm a phone idiot, and I figured it out. Okay, let's see. White. White, um, white gel paint. There you go, sweet. Hollywood. Oh, if you don't have TikTok right now, you should download it because that's my plan is to do TikTok later. Yeah. We are discussing it, you know. So you're going to miss out if you don't have TikTok later. <laughs> I'm so excited. Matt, nice glass of wine. And some munchies with no family. Not one family. for me. It is. You know what I'm going to do. Uh, you know what I'm going to do. It's not one at all. I'm going to do one. What well. No, no, no. Okay, let's see. Kill this. I'm gonna draw a rainbow uh, around him. Start out with pink. Uh, first of all, I am gonna do some bubble first. So, GD jelly, take it out. I'll take 3D jelly. Let's see. Let's Imagine he's smoking up before and dirty. <laughs> Is that even a time? Right. We try not to plan it. We don't plan that. It just happened. 3D jelly. That's what I'm going to use. Apply a little bit of 3D jelly on here. So I'm going to make some bubbles. Uh, you have to download TikTok. Hmm. This one too, just a thin layer of 3D jelly. Just a very, very thin layers. Very top coat basically very thin don't go crazy on the 3d jelly just try to uh brush it out so it's thin 
It's fresh as You know, I was thinking about this morning. What's that? I was thinking about Matt, and then I was thinking about when he was in transition, whether he wanted to do nails or not. Uh -huh. And then he was waiting until Christmas to get the products. Uh -huh. So when I started thinking that, you know, we've been doing this like five, six months at least. Our time has flown by. I know, right? It's been like five months. Oh, Matt, remember to send me your TikTok too, because I don't know uh, your TikTok where it is. Okay, now white ink. So this is white art ink. Okay. So if you use uh, alcohol ink, you are at your own risk. I'm going to use uh, white art ink. And this is 3D jelly. If you use other top coat like uh, Blooming Gel or Shine Dead or um, Builder Gel, you are at your own risk. I'm going to make it sporadically. Maybe one down here too. Good morning, Merlin. Hello, Merlin. Oh, Merlin, let me see. Is it Merlin that I know? I cannot see it. There are only, there are only one morning. There is only one morning. Okay, uh, this is a little small. Oh shit. I messed it up right here. It's okay. Here. I'm gonna shove a rainbow right on it. I'm almost out of white gel, so I didn't pick it up enough. Are you using yeah. alcohol to numb the pain? Nope. Nope. I say, I say, are you 3D jelly and white art ink? If you use any other build of gel, you're at your own risk. If you use alcohol ink, you're at your own risk. There is a two ingredients that I use to make that effect. Anything else is at your own risk. Remember that. All right, now I am gonna paint a rainbow. Yes, yes, that is a technique that I use. Those specific. Maybe. Can I repeat that? Specific ingredient. Three D jelly and white art ink. If you use anything else, you at your own risk. All right, now pink, orange, and, and yellow. Well, now, Julia, that's a great thing, though. You've been so busy. Okay, now, now green. And not, not blue. It can be blue. Hmm. Huh. Maybe. Did you cure the 3D gel before you applied white? No. Leave it wet. Oh, 3D jelly is also able to do a blooming, too. Okay, now this, I leave it completely wet. And the ink, I only put a little bit. So now I'm gonna take care of this boo-boo right here. I got a boo-boo. The rainbow gonna be right on it. Okay, so let's take care of that little boo-boo. my shoulder. Okay, now, here this. 
Where did that come from, man? Huh? Where did that come from? What? What? what where? Oh, oh my God! I sing. Yeah. It did sing. Oh my God. That's not good. You don't want to hear me sing. That would destroy everything you know about me. Hear my voice. Hear my singing. I should, you know, I should join American Got Talent. I bet I go viral. Okay. It's gonna be right here, and it's gonna end right about here. How do you fix the boo boo uh, if it's where you can't cover it up with something else? I take a brush and I wipe it up really quick. Take a dry brush and you just scoop it up off the surface. <clears throat> Great. Now says, I know you don't like it when things go wrong, but it's good to see because mm -hmm. things go wrong in the salon all the time. Yes. It shows how to fix it. Yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I, I know um, when I first started, um, my understanding of product wasn't, wasn't there yet, you know. And I do end up in situation where um, I make a wrong move. Of course, they don't know that. They don't know that because that's minor move. But still, um, because they don't know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? But certain situation does that, I get like sweat rolling down my, my forehead. I'm sure it happened to you before. <laughs> Suddenly you get sweaty. <sighs> so yes, definitely good to see mistake being done. So you know, um, you know what can back it up. What to do, what to do. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm saying if I join American Got Talent, I will go viral, but not in a good way. <laughs> I will probably be one that storm up, like cuss out Simon, you know, whatever Simon, or, or tell the audience to shut up, you know, shut up, you guys, stop booing. And storm out the door, yeah, more like that. And then it go viral. And then the, the video go viral, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should join American Got Talent. Life is short. Go and sing Whitney Houston. Just for the fun of it. I'm not gonna make a whole ordeal too. I'd be like, I have been prepared for this my whole life. It's my dream. Since since I was a kid, I I, I was I, I always sing. I was hated when you go on there and you're just horrible because I'm like, no one told you before now. They let you stand in line for days and get up here and no but I love the part when they, like, they, they, they prepare their whole life, you know, waiting for this moment, like, extremely, I'm going to be extremely serious, too. <laughs> be like, it's my dream. This is all I want to do. And then when I start singing, oh, I can't wait to look in Simon's face. Ooh. And then I'm going to be so offended when he say, uh, when he give me a no, I'll be so fit. I said, no. What do you mean, no? Kiss. this. Mm, I'm a black woman working in a very toxic salon. What would you suggest? Oh, no. Hide up your skill and get the hell out of those. You got to get the hell out of yeah. there. You got to hide up your skill. That's number one. Because without skill, it would be a little, you end up in the same situation, period. Um, hiding up to skill is like sharpening your weapons, basically. Um, when you're strong, then it's not going to affect you, basically. You have control of your environment. Yeah. And the people. Um, but yeah, you, you can be in it. Um, of course, don't get out immediately. You gotta got, got back up and everything. Uh, I hope you got clientele. You know what I mean? Because some salons, they don't let you uh, get your own clientele, gatekeeper. Um, but nowadays, Facebook, social media, you can easily get a person's phone number, really. Um, have at least 50 clients, get the hell out of there. Uh, if you want to uh, work on in another shop, that's fine. Well, depending on how much percentage you're paying to the people, you know what I mean? Because you can take, like, that cut it in half by having your own place. Yeah, yeah, that, that too. That one but say is 
um, if you want to work in the salon, that's fine. But I mean, if you want to gather up some basic product for you and uh, just um, go rent it a space, because with a phone number, you don't need a, a storefront. Um, with a, a clientele list, you know what I mean? If you build up your clientele with, you don't need a storefront, right? I mean, the uh, commercial, um, what I'm trying to say is storefront in, in like the, the, the big street where you pay like 2000 a month rather than the back street. The back street, you pay like $700 a month. You know what I mean? So the big street is for walk-in traffic. But if you have enough uh, clientele, you don't need walk-in traffic. You just um, post your work on social media and... Uh, but you have to have uh, a certain number of people first. And then post a work in social media and people will just see your work and make appointment. You don't need a store, uh, like a um, central storefront is what I'm, I'm trying well, to say. Well, this is what she said. Uh, basically, that she's only right there. Now, art entertaining, that's, that's going to be. Are, are you like the only black woman? She's is that like a racial issue or? She's the only one doing nail art. So that's oh. Than. Yeah, that's not a good uh, environment. She she's already started her own salon, but was trying to stay until oh built up more. She needs to get out. I believe because it's not worth it. I got you. I got you. So you're trying to build up your own salon, and you, this is temporary for you. Mm, I do the same thing. I did the same thing. Um, for a while before I uh, start to get out. I guess uh, before you have enough clientele, you just have to buy the bullets. It's going to be very, uh, it's not going to be good for, for you, for your state of mind. That's going to affect the design too. Being at the salon. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I get it. If, if you already have planned that, it's good for you, then you just have to buy the bullet on this one. Whew. Sometimes taking a small loss financially is a gain mentally. Yeah, but she's trying to build clientele. That's what she's trying to do. She's trying to gain clientele, so she should use that location just to get clientele before she moves. That's a good move. No, that's, you're on the right path. It's just the process is difficult because the people's. But I get it. I get it. Uh, well, when you have enough clients, then get out. No one-on-ones? No. And no classes that we're aware of this year? No one-on-one. Okay, now. Gotta be very clever on this. No, man, we don't plan far enough ahead to know what we're doing. It just goes way over Gotta be very clever on this. Obviously, didn't think ahead. Hello, Vanessa. Vanessa. Oh, Van oh, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa is the first person ever that posted my work and kicked off my algorithm. Vanessa, I love Vanessa. I love, love Vanessa. I, I always. At least she's one of the ones that is, is, is helped push you along. Yes. You never once took any credit. No. She, uh, I love her. I always talk about her. When when it first started, I always talk about her. I, I bet it's annoying us. And I always like, have you seen Vanessa work? I always show people Vanessa work. <laughs> Kill this. <sighs> oh, that's a, that's an incident when <laughs> Vanessa thought I was a girl. <laughs> when I first started, everybody thought I was a girl. <laughs> have you seen that girl's nails? <laughs> I didn't even bother to like, a fix um to like correct it because you know i'm fine either way <laughs> i can swing both way <laughs> well, it's just you. It's hear this la, la, la. oh vanessa say love you too <laughs> okay so let's see pinky here 
Okay, the rainbow. So I'm guessing I need another round of bubbles. This is right here. I, I, I plan to draw a cloud, but that'd be, that's not going to look right if there's a cloud on there. All right, another round of 3D jelly and bubbles. Here we go. 3D jelly. Take it out. Thank you, thank you. It was Tina. <laughs> Did you say it was Tina? <laughs> okay, now, 3D jelly. Check it out. No entiendo a nada, pero me encanta el trabajo. Oh, gracias, Stephanie. Gracias. Luego uh, hablo español. Pa hablo mucho español, pero, uh, pero ahora hablo poquito español. My friend is watching this live with me and wants to know why don't you see these when you're done? Why don't Probably I sell these when you're done? Oh, um, so I each one each piece I made, I don't really plan to repeat that because my goal is to demonstrate and to teach. So I don't plan to repeat the piece because that'd be boring. That would kill me. Um, because uh, what? What I get up out of this is a creative process. So when I'm done with it, I'm pretty much over the set. So for me to repeat it, and that's what it did. Our if I'm, is not about money. It's about your ability to design and teach people how to design, I think. But go ahead. Um, so I don't want to repeat this. Where am I, where am I at? Um, what I get out of it is a creative process. So I don't want to repeat this. If I sell this, if I sell this set, I have to repeat it because um, on beauty show, I present at beauty show uh, on my different look and on how I incorporate crystal with design, I present it. So if I lose this piece, I'm gonna go insane. I have to make another one identical like this and I don't want to. Um, I, I, yeah, I used to sell press on in the old day, but now um, I teach, so that's a different uh, strategy. Um, not for money, really, because I do this for free. So the purpose is not for selling. Sometimes I get very offended well, when people um, people text me and and they say, "Well, do you sell press on?" I say, "No, I uh, I only teach." And they say, "Well, just um just uh an advice for." For you that's what they say right. an advice for you if you be selling press on you'll be making a lot of money just so you know oh, i get incredibly offended like fuck you <laughs> i get i get so offended you greedy you know, bitch you're doing this, you're <laughs> as hell every single day doing exactly what you're doing why would we want to change some shit for there i was very offended when they say that when they say just an advice for you if you sell this you make a lot of money like what do you know about me and my money <laughs> Are you kidding? But anyway, so that's why I didn't sell press on. And so many people can, it's like they want this one person to satisfy when you're trying to teach so many to get it out there. Yeah. We want to teach because, you know, when I first started, no one teaching me. I wish there's someone teaching me which is who really want to make an impact. That's why the shop is for, is to provide all the tools they need to. I, I used to dream, oh my God, I wish I can have um, just a room full of product. I used to dream, oh my God, I, I want this, I want that. I, well, it's eventually come true. I have a room full of product. Yeah, That's my dream. That's my dream. I like. I wish I have product. So much product. I need this. I need that. Oh, what is that you use for the bubbles? Uh, three D jelly. I use three D. Uh, cure this. And then I forgot there was a question up there before about could you use three D jelly at the bottom of the rainbow or something? Um, you can. 
you can, but it will be um, there will be a differences. You know what I mean? There will be like a layer right here that are slightly thicker than the other layer. So when you boot up coat, you might have a little slight bump. Doesn't mean you can't. You can, but if you're unhappy with it, then you will know that next time you have to boot on the whole nail. Just a thin layer. You don't have to be thick because 3D jelly is cell level. So it doesn't matter how thin you stroke it, it's gonna be nice and smooth. See how nice it is? And there's not just barely any 3D jelly on it. I use a flash brush and I make sure I really, really um, stroke it out so there's not a lot. Is that white ink? White art ink, yes. <clears throat> very close to calligraphy ink, and very strong. Know, just so you know, you had several people that thank you and love you for what you're doing exactly. Aww. Now. I'm not sure. Did you use blooming gel? Uh, no, no. I use uh three D jelly. You can test it with blooming gels. It either become a circle or it gonna splash out like a like a firework. And you want a circle. How's it blooming like that? It's just what the ingredient that is made. That's why I say. If you if you don't use 3D jelly and you use alternative product, the risk is on you. That what that mean? It, the ingredient in this make it special because I tried with my shadow before. It doesn't come out like that. Um, I tried with several top coat, it doesn't come out like that. I tried with beauty gel, it doesn't come out like that. So that's why I say if you use other um, beauty gel and all that, the risk is on you. Cure this. I am gonna make you see these little uh little star. I'm gonna make little star, but in uh, rainbow. See this little star right here for uh, SpongeBob. I'm gonna make rainbow. Okay. Probably rainbow right here too. So. What I am gonna do is apply sanded on both of these to block my pigment because I'm about to use pigment. So I am blocking this. I'm applying sanded on. Uh, any no white pop coat will block the pigment. As long as it doesn't have tacky layer, it will block pigment. So I'm gonna block my pigment right now. What's the name of the gel you said you use for bubble? Mm, give me a second. 3D jelly. Here this. 3D jelly is right here. 3D jelly. This one is blooming and then it's making that effect too. Three D jelly is the third fast styling product, is the hardest. Um, the first best selling product is pixie gels and then come all the texture effect and then 3D jelly. But this month, this month pigment base is the hardest selling product. It's have what every pigment base is wiped out. I am in my last bottles and I only have half of it. The shipment ship this Sunday, so it will take three weeks for it to make it across the sea. Okay. Across the ocean. Oh, wait. Why am I holding this? Shine it on here, too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a lot of people are panicking right now. They're like, where's Big One Base? Where's Big One Base? I'm, I am just in the same boat as you. I'm waiting, too. I'm suffering. The lack of Pigment Base. I have ordered a lot. Triple them before. And in three weeks, it will be available. And I will make sure I announce it, too. And I'm bringing Pigment Bay to the show, to beauty show, uh, to Chicago beauty show. Kill this. Could bubble effect be used where the rainbow meets the water? Um, yes, but it would not be like this. It would not be individual uh, bubble. It will be formed. You have to mix it with white gel and it will be forming. So it's a different effect. But yes, you can. That actually is a 
Oh, really good idea, actually. Oh, that's a good idea. Whatever, I'm already doing this. But yes, good for you. You think that's, that's a good thought right there. That's right on track. Okay, now, uh, I am going to draw these little stars on using pigment base. You offer show deals? Mm, yes, yeah, that, that is show deal on that. Uh, not much, though, so, unless um, I show. Um, I don't know if Cindy have deal. I will have a little deal. But um, what happened is then the, they approach us, or salon owner, they approach us and like, well, how much? And I, we were like, so and so and so. And they'd be like, well, what happened if we buy 50 piece for our salon? Then Cindy would step in and cut them a, a deal, and then they would counter with a deal, and then she would cut them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she will work with them on, on like yeah. the percentage and all that. We don't have or want any control over the business. All right. I'm gonna be there demonstrating nail art. I will have uh, no part in, um, in the uh, how much and how much. Ooh, Tino, what type of music do you like? I like um I like classical. Like classic country is what he like. He like hillbilly. <laughs> no, I like classical. I like opera. Um, I like heavy metals and I like jazz. Uh, uh, country, but it have to be old country. Um, I like popular music. Um, like but old school too. Britney Spears, Madonna, all that. Yeah, so gay really music. Like Not all music, but um, uh, alternative music too. But I like heavy metal the best. My voice is built for heavy metals. Okay, now I can draw stars. I'm very old school. I have an old soul. That's what it doesn't say. I have an old soul. Definitely. You have to be an old soul if you're going to be 21 forever. Right. This is Tino Headbanger. No, Rocker Boy. Rocker Boy. Oh. I want to be at a rave, you know? <laughs> they go crazy. Oh, man. It's my dream. Is there any audience in? Uh, is there any people in the audience that are just like me? Uh, there's a lot of people like Really? Yeah. Oh hell yes! I am a total headbanger. I go crazy. They said you got the perfect hair for it. I would go crazy. I go absolutely. Oh hell yes! Hell yes! That is a hair. It is on my finger. <laughs> yeah, we're a lot of people. Well, look at all these heavy metal rockers coming out of the works. You know what? This is need to be bigger. It's unnecessary right now, but it's so small. It needs to be big. Make sure I have to wipe it up completely because I need everything to be gel free before I draw. If not, pigment gonna stick on it. Good morning, Linda. Hello, Linda. What gloves do you use? I use, um, give me a second and I will show you the box. I use like a tattoo gloves. Um, give me just a second. Here it is. So pink paw nitro club. Um oh there you go. So take a brand of this is made medium. Um and uh take a screenshot of these two powder free. 
it's a tattoo club. Actually, one of the viewers uh, actually recommended for me for this club. People eat tattoo, so it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable on my hand. I had glove that I couldn't breathe through it. You know what I mean? So it's very comfortable for my hand. <laughs> Anxious note that said, if you like the psychedelic music video I sent you a while ago, it's so the band is. I remember. The band is Rainbow Kitten Surprise. They're from North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Honey, remember? That was what we listened to going to Texas. Yep. We like them. Mm -hmm. We love them. And here I thought we had all these nice, innocent. But my my most enjoyment is still our uh, opera, opera uh, Maria Catlas is my favorite Maria Catlas. Maria Carlos is my absolute favorite. Okay. Ready for my fun? We're going to have them tonight. Hell yes. Hell yes, nah. Okay. okay. So it's seven, right? Seven, um, seven Florida time. So six, six o'clock. I got to make sure of that too. Six o'clock, uh, my time central yeah i'm just using pigment base so it's it's actually it's a gel polish so it's very uh fluid i'm gonna draw because i'm drawing on um shiny background so it's slippery too it's it's very fluid not easy but fluid because if i use gel pen then then i'm not gonna be able to move this fluid and smooth. I have to change my angle multiply if I uh, use gel paint. Cure this. All right, rainbow on. So, pigment out. Let's see. Let's do green first. Actually, pink first. I think I've lost all of Green and pink. Okay, so I'm gonna start with pink. Pigment here, smudge it in. Tap out the dust. Now it's full of color, but no dust. Going in. Take a little more. Are you finished with iPad? Yes, I'm finished with iPad. right here pin right here too and right here <clears throat> all right I'm one of the phones locked up and so if you had any questions missed over the last few minutes now we can kind of ask orange
Yeah. Yellow. I love pigment on thin line because it's very forgiving. Okay, go back with pink. I love the pigment. Yes. Go back with pink. We do not have a bulk price for the entire Tina collection. Mm -mm. <coughs> Mainly because there's always something sold out. Right. Um, well, and I, I still, um, I still have more stuff. And we're still growing. Um, but as I say, eventually I will, I will have bundles, um, like bigger bundles. But you, you have to know, you have to know that my, um, my collection is, is because I do everything. You have to know that you have to remember I do everything. So, more than likely, you only need a certain item that fit your category. You know, like if if you are uh, like um if you're character uh painting, not everyone doing character. There's people that like uh like glitter, sparkle. You know, just depend on what you're in for. Um, then you will get that. But if you get everything, then know that I do everything. So there's some stuff you might not ever use because you might not be a diverse artist you know what i mean so to depend make sure you know what you're buying make sure you look through it and see what it does okay now let's see mario Ooh. yeah yeah i know i know yesterday yeah i know okay so um i wonder what it look like if the bubble were bluer. I like it. I'm gonna take a little stained glass shell. I'm not gonna paint a lot on. I'm just taking a dry brush. See it? No paint. And um, I'm just dust over the white just to make sure that it's it's a little tinted. So it's not like white. See that? It's white, white. This is like, ooh. It's deeper. I like it. Yeah. Deep ocean bubbles. Deep ocean bubbles. So that's why I do. We just here's a good question. I don't know how easy it is to answer, but mm -hmm. how are you able to take an inspo picture and make it your own without copying it? That's just me. It just happens. That's just me, and by watching me, hopefully that you will get that too. Mm -hmm. It's something that cannot really be taught. Um, you just have to. I mumble a lot when I. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying because I'm saying what in my head, you know what I mean? So by watching me for a while, hopefully you can absorb what my process, you know, because of the way I think, stuff like that. Hopefully by watching it, you absorb it. Um, or you can just copy me. You can just replicate what I do. That will be step number one. But in the long term, I want you to be able to make your own. You know, when you're able to tap into that, at that point, you don't worry about having all this block. You can just produce it every day like me. It's like an equation almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to um, remember details. When I say remember detail, people don't really remember things. Mm, let's take an example for a horse. Okay. A person look at a horse and they be like, oh, I know what the horse look like until they start to draw it. Until you draw it, you don't really know what the jaw look like, where the eye at, is it like near the nostril or far away, what's the hot ear look like, you know, what the body structure, you don't really know because you're not a horse lover. In order for your brain to absorb that detail and information, you have to love it. That's what I mean. It doesn't matter how hard you try to remember, you only remember the concept of it. You're not going to remember the 
the detail and all that unless you're totally impressed there's gonna be some kind of strong emotion behind it you either love it or hate it you know but you it have to be a strong emotion Love yeah, love or hate it has to be a strong, strong emotion because if you barely care about what you're looking at, then you will not remember it. And then when you have enough information, I call it the memory bank. Oh, I call it. When you have enough uh, in your memory bank, then you can piece it together. Hear this? Like the rainbow? The rainbow is not really in the picture, but I know what the rainbow looks like. <laughs> so that's why I do the rainbow. Bubble is not in the picture neither, but I know what the bubble look like. I know the technique to do the bubbles. I know several techniques to do several different bubbles. So now it's in my memory bank. I just take it out and I just piece it together with this piece. And there you go. Mm -hmm. Easy at that. I haven't replicated anything yet, but I've learned a lot since I started last mm -hmm. week. And I've applied the same techniques and my art has improved a Absolutely. Lot. That that's also is one of the key. You don't have to do what I do. You just have to watch it. That all kind of tip and trick in between. That's that's great. That's great. And not a lot of people know that. Mm. Um, there's some that are intimidated. You know, when they see one of the pieces I produce, they're like, <laughs> "Well, I can't do that. I just can't do that." But they don't know that you don't have to do that. You can just get what a, like the bubble technique. That would be so fun. So many things. The bubble technique, you don't have to be in SpongeBob. You can use it almost anywhere. You can just do just only bubbles. Just all 10 now. Just only bubble and ombre. There you go. It's a good technique right there. We need a poo. Ooh, I haven't do we need a poo yet. I need to. I need to do we need a poo. Okay, I'm going to mat every single thing that I did because I like mat. So, mat this, mat this, mat, 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 everything's mat. All right. So, I am going to mat two of these first because it's hot pigment. It hasn't been um, recovered. So, I am going to use mat it. And just because there's pigment on there, I have to go mm, semi, not too slowly, okay? So, I'm going to go and go, I mean, not too fast. Sorry. Not too fast. Just, just like this. Because if you glide too fast, then the gel might not adhere to the surface um, evenly. Then you have to stroke again and again and again. That kind of will, it can mess you up with the pigment. Kill this. So Katina MC says, how do you overcome questioning your work and trust what you are creating will be great? Who that? I don't think you ever feel like that. Um, um, there is a process. There is a process. Um, not technicality. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm done with questioning my technicality because I have spent year on um, cultivating all the product and all the, uh, uh, all the knowledge on it, all the layer. So I'm no longer questioning my technicality would mean like, mm, is this line straight? Is it not straight? You know, I'm not questioning it, but I'm, I do questioning the look that I give because that is just a matter of taste. Um, I question it all the time. That's why I'm, I'm keep looking all around me just to see what's out there. Because an ombre might be popular this year, might not be popular next year. You know what I mean? So I, I do keep an eye out on what's going on right now. What's going on out there in the market right now. Uh, I call it mainstream. Um, a mainstream style is something that you can do because that's what everybody do. And that is something that you would never get noticed for because so many people do it. Mm, let's say ombre just because you're going to do an ombre now set and post it online it will never get noticed because it's ombre it's everywhere um, if you did an ombre with some bubble or some flower you might get noticed because people are like mm, I don't see that before so the trick is to incorporate mainstream looks but with your personal touch that is a trick so um, that's not a bad thing by questioning your work because mm, if you're not if you get to a point where you absolutely satisfy with it, uh, that is kind of a dangerous space for most artists because that is when they're going down big time. Mm, when an artist stops and saying, oh my God, I am so good. Oh, how can I ever learn anything else? This is the best ever. Oh, no, nothing gonna touch it. That is when an artist starts to go down big 
time. And I have witnessed so many of my friends going down. Oh, you do have 15 likes, 20,000 likes, 15,000 likes, come up to 300 likes. Matter of months. And they have no idea why. They're like, it's Instagram fault. It's Instagram algorithm. It's their fault. That's why uh, I don't get a lot of likes anymore. I don't know. It's because you get you ombre all the time. And they're so prideful about it too. Oh, they love it. So it's not a bad thing by questioning your own work. That is a process when you're not satisfied. You'd be like, it can be better. I know it can be better. There's something about this. It can be much, much better. It, it's a struggle that every artist is going through. It's a good struggle. It's what you signed up for. <laughs> but questioning it is different than giving it up. Don't be negative about it. You know what I mean? You don't feel like you need to base coat the pigment. I notice if I don't base it, the clients come back with chippy. Mm -mm. You don't need to base coat the pigment at all. Oh, I get it. I get it. Mm. I don't know where they learn it from, but right now there is a thing where you put in like a gel polish and you cure halfway. There is this thing going on here right now. Remember, partial cure is only for matted. A top coat is only for a top coat. Because a top coat is clear, you cure it, let's say, for five seconds. Okay? It's not done yet, but it's clear. Light still have a chance to penetrate it. Now, a polish and you cure it for 30 seconds, if it meant to cure for 60 seconds, just because you, you cured it early so you can put pigment on. I don't know where they learned that, but that is not drawing the book at all. You don't posture cure your polish, you guys. I'm sorry to say, you do not posture cure polish. If you use a polish, like, let's say you use pigment base, that polish is better be built for pigment. That means full cure and pigment stick on. But you have a posture cure, ooh, you're going to have all kind of problem. You're going to chip everywhere. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's very good, very good. Okay, now, um, I wonder about that uh, bubble effect. Oh, that's such a good idea, too. It's okay. I'm happy with these bubbles. Okay. Yes, thank you, Some man. twinkles. Okay, let me see. Thank you, Jen. Oh, my God. Jen got us. Make sure you guys follow your Alatino page. Thank you, Jen. A question, mm, just tell me you want to improve, not stay stuck. Yes. Very much so. Yes. Mm. It's not being negative about it. You know what I mean? Mm. Being negative about it means a person doesn't want to practice. They just complain. You know what I mean? They just sit there on the table and they look at what they want to achieve and they be like, I can't do that. I can't do that. And then they pick up a brush. They do a few strokes and like, oh, I can't, I can't, I just can't. And they so try to like do an ombre and like, oh, so ugly, I can't do that. That's been negative. That's not willing to practice mean you dive in it, you know that you're going to fail right away. You know, you know that because, because you don't know how to do it, right? That's why you practice it. So you know when you're done that you're going to fail. Practice in it. It is different. And then when you practice multiple times and you get it, you got to hang up it and you did a set. And then you look at, at that set and you'd be like, you know what? I love it. But you know, I wonder what it's like with like no purple in here. I bet that'd be pretty. I don't think that, um, I think that it's too much blue. I think, I think a little more color would be good. You know, that is questioning yourself. That is a good thing. That means your mind are not settling right there. It's willing to want you further. It's willing to wonder what's going on behind the closed door. If I open it, is it going to be pretty or be, no, not pretty. What is it? It's a curiosity. That's a good thing. But when you practice, you got to really work hard on your practice. <laughs> That's how you get good. And, be, and usually people are discouraged in practice. That is, that is not recommended. That is a wrong way of thinking. So yes. Mm 
m o s of the time when I push myself. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's giving me trouble again. Instagram. Hopefully, hopefully that. Ah, uh, thank you, Matt. Matt said this beautiful. Um, most of the time when I push myself to try something new, I impress myself, but not always. Exactly. Yes. I've seen you experience that a lot. Yes, I get over overthink very quickly. I always want to be better, and that's one of the reason why. Until this day, because um, my friend they have been on, they have been off. Um, I went to so many people that I know. They just get really popular, and they just not popular anymore. I have been um, getting on this race for about five years now. I have up and down. It's, it's like a wave. It's up and it's down. It's up and, until now. It's, it's don't bother me anymore because I know when it go down, it go up, and then when it go up, event it's not gonna stay there. Eventually, it go a little down. If your work get a little plan, it go a little down, and that's when it's time you know push yourself. So when you go up again, you celebrate. You celebrate, but you know it's gonna go down again. You know what I mean? And it's just like that for years and years and years. Just because I always looking for something better. Mm. Other people, if they don't think like that, then that just work for them. Mm. And if it just work for you, then eventually you're gonna get burned out. Mm. That's the reason why I don't get burned out because I'm curious. I'm curious to see what else I can do. You know what I mean? So don't remember when I say. And that goes back to not repeating your work. Or yeah. Press onto people. Yes. Yes. Control. It's affect your mind. Um. That's when I say you have to have. Passion for what you do. Most people would think, "Oh, I probably get it from like Google or something." You know, some kind of, some kind of meme or something. No, when I say you have to have passion for what you do, there's a lot behind it. I just don't take time to like explain it in details. But just trust me, you gotta have passion for what you do because remember why I talk about the brain. Remember, if you don't care about something, it's not gonna. Turn into your favor. You're not gonna remember it. You're not gonna capture the details. So remember, when I say you have to have passion, what you do, I'm really mean it. And if you don't try to, okay, you in the industry, you gotta like art some some way or another. Or else why you be in this industry? You know what I mean? To shape a nail, to polish nail, you gotta like pretty things. You gotta like you gotta have some sort of passion, but you need to draft that out because that. Because that will serve you in the technicality. It will serve you. It's not just a saying, you know. It's not just like like a uh, like a um, like 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 a uh, inspirational saying. It's not. It's needed. You need that passion, or else, woo, in for a rough ride. Emotional roller coaster. You, you remember before when I say that people that like art. That love art have um have a uh, what is it a head start. They have a head start because when you practicing, if it not work for you, you most likely last for about a couple hours. Then when you're not practicing, uh, when when you're not loving it, because when I, I notice whenever I'm busy or or something like that, and I have to like drop down this technique really quick to see what it like, I tend to go faster. Than when I'm have nothing to do. So when you sit down and you really, you really excited and curious, it gonna you gonna stay there for about a couple hour or few hour. But if you don't feel like it, you lay it on the table. Gonna be like ten minutes before you are done, before you're done and ready to just go on with your day. So remember that. Remember that the, when you put your heart in it, you get a head start than other people's. <laughs> yes, bubble. Thank you. This is a um. This is a different technique. It's individual bubble. Bubble effect. I use to make form, <laughs> to make form and delay ink. I delay ink and then I make like little form by by mixing it into a polish. You have little ocean form going. Inconsistent. Some big, some tiny, some small. Um, but this is different. This is more like a blooming effect. It's more like a blooming using ink. The ink I use is art ink, so it's very strong. 
art in is very very strong it's very close to calligraphy ink. it's very very strong different than the marble in uh, marble ink or alcohol ink is weaker so people can make marble this one i can make marble too i just have to put a different background like a like a, a shiny background i do marble in um but this ink i use to make smoke i use to make uh bubble just all kind of different effects i use it in and frosted stained glass i use it in too um the base is this that an ingredient in it that will help it bloom like a circle um i use blooming gel before and it's it shoot out the moment i touch it it's splatter out like firework so that's go that technique um, good for July 4. But uh, this pretty jelly, it ensures that your ink go in a circle. Um, when you first open your ink, if you know that when you first open it, when you first purchase it, there will be some pigment right here. Okay, some dry pigment right here. It's because it might be sitting upside down on the shell or when it's shipped here, it might be upside down. You need to stir it back up into the mixture because if you take it just pure, pigment and dye and you put it into the wet 3D jelly, it's not going to bloom. So you have to make sure you mix it and then you get the, the consistency. Just touch a little bit though. Uh, make sure you practice first because if you have a lot, it's going to bloom out a lot. So just uh, be careful on that technique. Remember to practice first. Can I see um, the texture of the 3D jelly? Can you open it please? Yes, yes. Give me just a second. Okay. So this 3D jelly. I'm open this and take a brush. Cell level. So encapsulation is a piece of cake for cell level and gel. No wipe. So you can adhere chrome on. And also can do blooming gels. The consistency is enough that you, if you want to paint it on the surface like a thin layer of top coat, you can. You can because of the cell level and capability, it'd be smooth like glass. Even if you stroke it really thin, within five seconds, it would be smooth immediately. Uh, before, I do use it for emboss. Right now, I find myself using clear texture gel a lot for emboss because it's non-cellular leveling ability. This is extremely cell leveling. It's, very, it's smooth out all by itself. Um, whenever I emboss with like big thick layer, then I use this. But if small thin little detail that are building really high, then I use clear texture gel. So this is clear 3D jelly. You're welcome. Okay, let's see what else. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, can I ask you? All right, all the questions is answered. Yes, Angelic Vampire. Are you going to join tonight too? I'm going to have a big nails party. Can I do Mario's? Oh, look at Patrick. So sexy. And the time I'm going to do Spongebob, psychedelic Spongebob is what I'm going to do on, on, uh, on the time. Hi, Zara. Hello, Zara. Love your work. Thank you, Snookies. Snookies. Snooky like just is so Snooky. Oh, my gosh, Snooky, I love you. Are you in Jersey, uh, Jersey Shore? Oh, my gosh, Snooky is here. Oh my god, you know, I'm ready for tonight, man. Yes, me too. Um, oh my god, they are amazing. Tino, thank you. Thank you, Lady Nail Studio. Lewis, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Lewis. It's a rad man. Um, Angelic Vampire, I be um I be there watching. Yes. Okay, okay, so yeah, joining. Um were you into Mario? No, I'm I I I didn't grow up with cartoon at all. And my knowledge on cartoon is very limited. Um now, I, I grew up in Vietnam, so we didn't own a TV when I was little. Um, it's a toy world country. We were poor growing up, so our kids just go out on the street and play. We don't have, we don't have cartoon 
um, either we do chore or we play <laughs> outside in the dirt. <laughs> so when I get to you, I guess that's why I'm acting like a kid now, I guess. <laughs> but um, uh, so my knowledge on cartoon is not very knowledgeable. I just see it on Google's and I see other people do it. So I like, mm, that's look fun. But I don't know a lot of characters at all. Uh, I know Sailor Moon. That's all I know. I haven't do Sailor Moon this year. I need to. Don't they uh don't they put or consider to produce a key and make or um me uh me uh producers as in www uh dot tinovo dot shop is um uh and we are todos luegos um and in the world mm, todos luegos so uh puedo uh a puedes puedes comprar and www.tinovo.shop e um is our producto a is uh is va a mexico va a ti to mexico so so puedes comprar puedes comprar aquí um let me see my, my son just asked yesterday uh if you have some sailor moon i don't yet i'm not yet but i will i will um maybe maybe uh St. Patrick gonna be over next week. So yeah, Sailor Moon will be in uh in April. Do you know the Spanish is spectacular? Thank you, Jockeys, thank you. Um oh Angelic Vampire is doing Sailor Moon right now. Uh do you know bilingual <laughs> uh, I'm learning Spanish and uh, French. Well, I'm I'm two days, yeah, I'm, I'm two days in, <laughs> two days in, like five days ago. <laughs> uh, the only thing I learned in French is I learned how to say hello, bonjour, bonjour, and ça va. Bienvenue à Tino Podasha. Merci du noir. Um, merci du noir. Retour à toi, à toi, à toi. So that's what I learned so far. <laughs> and I know my I don't know about the pronunciation. I learned the pronunciation. It's 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 a little different in French because the R the R is um like uh like let's say people say raptor. The French say raptor. Raptor. Or um if we say red, they say red. Red. So Red. So that that's how they say red. So the R is instead of R is like Spanish and and United States. The R go R, and the French is go crack, crack. Bonjour. Yes. Bonjour. Are you going to ask some proof? I know it's out of blue, but. <laughs> Been there for like 20 minutes. The black club is is not as you can prove. Um, I have I, I know what you're talking about. I used in a glove before and it's melted on me when I would ask on him. Yeah, let's see. Yes, it is. Yes, it's as on proof. It is. All right, let's see what else. Let's see what I purchased. So many. Uh, uh, oh, do you know, as that as a blessing, you know, been gracias, chicky. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jockey say uh, she purchased so many, but none more as on proof. Um, I, I, I hope you, you took a screenshot of that because that's 100% as on proof. You're welcome, Jockey. Um, True Image. Hi, hi, True Image 11. Mm, you sell the glove on your shop? I don't. I don't. It's on Amazon. Mm, you, just, you just find it on Amazon. <laughs> if you DM me, I'll send you a link later. Uh, I love mm, that you try it now and make sure you ask them. Oh, thank you, Lashley. Yeah, it's 100%. I, I know what you're talking about. It's irritate me. Well, uh, you drink that bottle of 
<laughs> yeah, before I use glove and it's melted. And when I, I do it, sometimes I get a little messy. Cause I like to use my glove too. You know, it's like a tool to me too. Um, like sometimes I wipe off the nail. I love to wipe off the nail, but but I don't know how to wipe it off with the fingers because you know it's gel. It's, it's my give me allergy or something. So I like to wipe off the gloves. I love to use gloves. Sometimes when I do chrome, then I use I use it to like wipe off the surface using my glove. Wipe off the chrome surface. I love gloves. Um, my hand are so fucked up. This right here, you know, this right here. It's breathable. I, I'm, I'm comfortable in it. But my hand is made medium. I buy medium size. You might want to try out several size. Um, you're so sweet, Tino. You are such a sweet spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Krista. Krista Diva. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think our question is answered. Um, I am going to post this in five minutes. And you're not going to see me tomorrow. Mm. Uh, Monday, tomorrow is Monday. It's time for me to catch up on uh, content. Uh, take pictures, make videos. Um, I'll be back on Tuesday. Um, I don't know how many live I'm going to do on Tuesday. But uh, from Tuesday, I'll be back on. Mm, definitely be there at 11. All right, everyone. I wish you a wonderful day. And tonight, um, I will go uh, on live with Matt. Um, we're going to have like now day now party um oh matt is here matt by the way can can you uh can you type in your tiktok information again please i said tonight see you over tiktok yeah yes uh, uh let's matt type in information so you know where to go uh i need to write into oh, oh i need to find him he probably already texted me the information uh i need to find his page and then uh oh i need to add him too um hell yes yes yeah just type it in like right here no like right here so people can see so people watching now they can see let me pin it too when you type it now pin it so uh people know where to go uh matt goes lay okay okay so you see the pin comment tiktok is matt goes lay so that is what I'm gonna be on tonight. Matt goes lay. Bye bye. I let Tosh come out of war. Out of war, Miss Sherry. Out of war. Messi do not reach one out of duty. Yes. Matt goes lay here. I'm gonna pin it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I will see you tonight for party. Now's party. What time? Six o'clock my time. Seven o'clock his time. Six o'clock Chicago time, or seven o'clock uh, Florida time. All right, I'm out of here. Bye bye, you guys. So live on TikTok. Yes, live on TikTok. <sighs> my first time doing TikTok too. Um, I'm a little nervous, but I'm glad I have Matt. Good Matt used TikTok before, so he's very good with the system on TikTok. Uh, so I'm going to get a chance to learn something about TikTok tonight. Right, right. You get to learn. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.